for almost every mayor in this room and across this country, small business remains the backbone of your local communities, your local economy. Successful mayors work hard hand in hand with the small business community to help them be successful and profitable. The Partner America program, a platinum member of the conference and now in its fifth year, is designed to do just that connect mayors with their small businesses to provide them with the tools and resources to be successful in your towns. As the former co-chair of the Partner America Small Business Task Force, I know firsthand the value and importance of this program and how it has helped small businesses throughout the country. Please join me in welcoming to the podium the founder and chairman of Partner America, George Cloutier, Chairman and CEO of American Management Services, who will review the success of the Partner America program and share his vision for what's next. George? Wow. It seems like the last five years have flown by since we first started our Partner America initiative. I'm here today to thank all those that have made this partnership a tremendous success to outline some of its accomplishments and offer some thoughts on how we can enhance the program for you, the mayors, in the future. Five years ago, Mayor Wellington Webb, then president of the conference, approved the initial Partner America plan. Mayor Don Plasqualic and Mayor William Johnson were the first co-chairs. Both Mayor Plasqualic and Mayor Johnson were tremendous chairs and showed their faith in the program by sponsoring Small Business Days in their communities, um, which proved to be some of the best events we've had. These events were very successful due to their efforts. Our current chairs, Mayor Kay Barnes of Kansas City, Missouri, and Mayor Will Daniel Malloy of Stanford, Connecticut, have been prodigious in their su continued support of the program. Special thanks to Mayor Thomas Menino and Mayor James Garner for their support during their tenure as president of the U.S. Conference of Mayors. And most importantly, I want to thank Tom Corcoran and Catherine Wayland their, and their staffs for their unrelenting belief in, commitment to, and support of the initiative. To further our goal of promoting small business growth and development for small business, we've signed several memorandums of understanding with federal agencies to enhance and expand the capabilities of the programs. We signed an MOU with the SBA to better assist small business for direct access to capital, loans, and technical assistance. Other agencies with which we've established strong relationships through the similar MOUs include U.S. Department of Agriculture, Commerce Department, Export-Import Bank of the United States, and the General Services Administration. An unknown fact is that the U.S. Department of Agriculture actually has a $10 billion loan portfolio for small businesses. And you'd be surprised how many communities don't even know it exists. Our job is to work with them and others to make sure you, the mayors, know about these programs. We've worked with hundreds of small business owners across the country with our roundtable discussions and conferences. The Akron and Rochester events are just two of the dozens as we've crossed the country from New Hampshire to California with events in cities like Manchester, New Hampshire, Worcester, Mass, New York, Rome, New York, New Orleans, Miami, Sugarland, Fargo, North Dakota, Burnsville, San Bernardino, and Seattle, Washington. We've identified, documented, and published small business best practices guides for use by the Mayor's Conference, all the mayors, and their constituents. Since 2000, we provided management services to over 2,000 small business owners across the country working to establish increased profitability and cash flow and creating over 15,000 new jobs. Most recently, we've worked with the mayor of West Palm Beach, Lois Frankel, to, to pilot a program called One Stop Shop Access 
for small business. This provides small businesses in her community access to procurement opportunities, technical assistance, capital and loan programs, management assistance, and almost everything a small business needs. One call, one stop. For the future, we've developed some interesting concepts that we'd like to share with you today. In the last five years, I've seen more competition in this field than every, any time before. There were a lot of folks in it when I started, and in the next two to three years, it just became swamped. Competition is fierce. There are companies starting almost weekly. Always looking for an edge. And you can never feel safe that you have a corner on any given market. Having an outside person come in and look at the company is very helpful because you kind of get complacent. They come in and dissect your business in, in order for you to make a proper analysis of what you need to do to move forward. Without Partner America, we probably wouldn't have, we wouldn't have known who to talk to. American management saved my company. Doing the same amount of work and having that much more profit. The turnaround was that quick. And as the company does better, everyone gets to do better. Tom, I can't believe it's been five years since we first started Party America. I agree with you, George. Little did we know where it would lead when we started to Party in America. But let me ask you this, George. What would you wish if you could wish anything you wanted for this partnership over the next 10 years? Let me think about that, Tom. Tom, I envision an office of small business that is easily accessible by all U.S. conference mayors and their small business constituents to provide a one-stop shop for most of small business needs. Rather than fighting the layers of different agencies, massive and almost indecipherable paperwork, and voicemail hell to receive assistance, the mayor's office of small business would include everything under one simplified roof. I can see two major assistance programs. The first would be a direct hotline where the mayor, their office, or the business owner could call for help. The second, and even more important, would be an actual office here in D.C. with staff available to help business owners navigate the process of acquiring the contract, loan, health insurance, discount purchase, what have you. One office, one phone number, one person to help you. Take procurement, for example. The Office of Small Business Purpose will be able to guide business owners through this process and then closely monitor the status and make certain it stays in front of the decision makers. Another example is insurance programs. The Office of Small Business would make available quality programs at competitive prices so that insurance becomes much more obtainable for the company and its employees. The Office of Small Business would help negotiate pricing on such things as office supplies, phone rates, FedEx bills, so that small business owners could simply present a membership card to take advantage of these special rates and better manage their own costs. We can call our discount membership card the Mayor's Club with an attached credit card that could earn rewards for participating in cities and towns as well as substantial savings for small business owners. So Tom, that's my dream for the next 10 years. George, these are great dreams, great expectations. We appreciate very much how far we've come with Part in America. And I want you to know this, the mayors of the United States and the U.S. Conference mayors stand with you as we go forward to develop those great dreams. <laughs>